We are with Saudi Arabia. We're staying with Saudi Arabia. Maybe he did and maybe he didn't. With those words, U.S. President Donald Trump effectively absolves Saudi Arabia's crown prince of involvement in the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. So, what's the future of U.S.-Saudi relations? Hello, I'm Arnand Naidu, and this is The Heat. U.S. President Donald Trump is siding with Saudi Arabia in the wake of reports the CIA has determined the Saudi crown prince was behind the killing of Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi. Here now for the latest is CGTN's Nathan King. And Nathan, the president released a statement today uh, and later spoke on the U.S. relationship with Saudi Arabia. What do we know? Well, uh, not for the first time in his administration. It looks like the U.S. president is going to basically go round uh, the best intelligence that he has from the intelligence agencies. Uh, as you said, over the weekend, multiple reports of the CIA have concluded with some varying degrees of certainty that Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince in Saudi Arabia, the de facto leader, had had something to do with uh, the ordering of the killing. Uh, and then this incredible statement uh, from the White House. Let me read you uh, a part of it. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, King Salman and Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman vigorously deny any knowledge of the planning of the execution of Mr. Khashoggi. Our intelligence agency continue to assess all information, but it could very well be that the Crown Prince had knowledge of this tragic event. Maybe he did, and maybe he didn't. Uh, basically, we're looking at a bit of real politique from Washington, which is nothing new, although they usually say that human rights is part of this, uh, their agenda. And then we got this follow-up from Mike Pompeo, the U.S. Secretary of State. Let's take a listen. It's a mean, nasty world out there. At the Middle East in particular, there are important American interests to keep the American people safe. It is the President's obligation, indeed the State Department's duty as well, to ensure that we adopt policies that further the Amer America's national security. So as the president said today, uh, the United States will continue to have a relationship with the kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They're an important uh, partner of ours. So basically, in that statement, and Pompeo, what he said is that they're sticking with Saudi Arabia because they're not Iran, they're a big ally against Iran, that they need them to keep oil prices low, and they've invested a lot of money in the U.S., especially when it comes to the arms industry. At least they're telling it like it is. Nathan, the United States has effectively doubled down on its relationship mm -hmm. with Saudi now, hasn't it? Yeah, uh, and there's been a lot of criticism of that. Let's just go through a list. I tried to just do this uh, before I came on air. In the uh, last year or so, uh, uh, MBS, Mohammed um, bin Salman, the, the Crown Prince, the de facto leader, has essentially kidnapped and humiliated the Prime Minister of Lebanon, Rafi Kariri. It took the French to intervene to get him out. Uh, there was that shakedown of the Ritz, multiple sheikhs and princes, uh, basically, uh, uh, we understand, tortured, and they had to pay up billions of dollars in the name of getting rid of uh, corruption. A lot of uh, friends of U.S. businesses there. There's been the isolation of Qatar, where the U.S. has a base, a naval base, which has pushed Qatar to more, towards the Iranians. We've had this horrible war in Yemen with all the civilian casualties and near uh, starvation, which is backed, of course, by uh, the Saudi-led coalition. And then the Khashoggi thing as well. And you have to answer the question, is this in the U.S.'s national interest? Of course, there's a strategic relationship with Saudi Arabia, but all this pushes against its interests in so many different ways. And the U.S. Congress, even allies of the president, like Lindsey Graham, uh, a big uh, senator uh, uh, from, uh, fl uh, from South Carolina, is basically saying that this is not enough. And there's lots of eyebrows being raised about the statement uh, being issued by the White House. This is definitely not over. Thanks, Nathan. That's CGTN's Nathan King reporting.